Hi everyone, welcome to IT Man channel. I'm Yom Ever Stanley Hand here with me today about my journey with IT Man. The topic you're gonna say with you about LSP Lab Pro in Nelvim. And if you don't know what's in LSP, LSP stands for Language Server Protocol. It was designed and the original idea for VS Code, Microsoft Visual Studio Code. However, it's get adoption and a lot of tools using right now. So basically it's just using RBC by protocol. The way for the editor, your editor, VS Code on of my Nelvim to communicate with your languages. And then it's for a lot of good things like compilation or since that's highlight or refer refactoring something on your application on your function class etc and today i'm gonna go through some setup with lsp in your new beam and you can explain your experience experience with both phone lsp plus in like it would be saga or ascent preview or navigator and my favorite one up to now is the fg FTF blue plugin. So stay tuned and follow me along, and you can try and figure out which one is the best for y'all. The first one I think that is a most popular one. This website you can find from Google LSP Saga, and they have a lot of good feature. But I, what I really love about this one is the simple for installation. You just for example, this case you lazy and vim. You can install with this and have two dependency with the optional. And if you use like Nelvim version 0 0.10, you should use LSB attach, which means whenever you run your application and this attach to event, which is better. Or another option is the file type empty. So if you only had a few server set up on your editor. So you that the way you can say, okay, I'll, I only want every saga running for C or CPP or Lua, Rust or Go. And these are the modules. So you can choose which one you want. But for me, the most interesting for me is the finder. This finder here, it will show the, like, you want to find some reference. It will list all the thing and highlight and you, you, you and then it help you to easily navigate between the file. And another one I really enjoy is the definition. The definition here, it can go to the definition so you can find the file easily. And they have a few default key map and you can customize as you want. So let's take a look from my sample now. So this is the process and I already have set up all with my lazy Vim. So here you can find LSB Saga. So I put this under a chart so I can use this to enable or disable the plugin. The first thing I can try this one, I had a few options and I crop all the LSB Saga with the GL. And then you can say the finder, go to the definition or time definition. So you can try it now with me. So the first thing I'm gonna enable this one with the H, which means HR. Then I'm gonna search for LSB Saga. Then I enable this one. And because this is the HR, so you need to wait and enable again, then you're gonna see the result. So now it's installed LSB Saga. And all the, the when you see this one, which means all the came map already set up for LSB as that event. Now open the file. For example, this is the as car schema. If I use ZL and you see this one, is I set up for the quick key and whenever I type GL, which we LSB Saga, and then all the assets I want. For example, I want 
you D, it will go to the file action. And the nice thing about this one is have the highlight. Try one more time. D L D. So you see that the line. So it's help visualize for me when working with something I can easily to see which line just go over. Similarly, I can go to Z L. So the, now the, my first one from LSB Sega. This is a finder app. Now you see this one that has six reference. And I can easily navigate using G and K. So I can navigate between the file. And if I want to open the file, I just press enter. So for example, I want to open this one, enter. Oh, oh sorry. I heard all oh, to open. And then I can see all oh, this is the what I define. I can go back away. We am left off with Ctrl I and Ctrl O. So it's just in out. All right. There are more things to try with LBs, but I think you should copy the configuration here and go over and change the mapping as you want. Because this is my setup, it might be different with your style. So that's my suggestion on this one. The Ascent preview is quite useful when you want to see something and you want to visualize what it changed on your editor. For example, this one. And you can see here, when I, we use this one, you can see what is the result for each action. So this action preview. The setup, you, you can use any plugin manager, for example, this kind of you packer, but we can do similar thing. I show you right away with my setting. So this is my setting. So action preview. And they had two options for me. I use new UI. You can use telescope if you want. And then it has only one option is let the C be. Well, I don't want you to use CI because I'm binding with default action for my setup. So I want to try something new from Ascent Preview. I just use mapping for the new key is to be let the C be. Navigator is a one more popular one. You see here it has one, more than 1,000 sound this plugin. And they had a lot of good things. You can check the video from the author. And, or you can see the demo on every action they had here. For me, this is quite easy. If you had a new published news from Strat and you just want to try with minimum setup, you can follow along with the readme and change the key map on the way you do. For example, here, this is what it that define. And however, for me, when I try this one, it's had too many things, too many clients, and it might affect your thing. So for me, I want to try the now the option. This is my setup here. So the way I do here, I still add that to LB's event, as that's event. When I install navigator.loop plugin. And I turn off all the default mapping and I just say, okay, I don't want you to manage my LP setup. I want to use some good feature. I like about your thing. And then I disable the LP, I disable the hover. Maybe you feel that, oh, why you know, would you do this one? And look at this one. I keep only a few, so in the ZR to find the reference and find the symbol or go to definition or preview the definition. And that's all the thing I often use. So I keep minimum size of thing. I want to try with Navigator. All right, let's see in Asset now. First step, I go to HR and I go to Navigate, search for navigate the all right, and I enable this one. So right now it's enable and press down one more time. It's, it's install the plugin 
and then now we have gr like the gs to the gw w and you see here all the little gd so this is all the thing i often use so i i set up with the yi1 similarly i can let the z and i crop like the way I do for this one, I just do symbol. I just say navigator does something. And I say, okay, A. And this, it has the option. So control O to apply the change. Or control E to insist. And I, okay, I don't want this now. I just insist the option. And uh, if I don't remember the key mapping, I can use the SK to see all the thing. I can search for navigator. But with this one, I can see I have five mapping on the, the for navigator, like for example, the got us and definition. Okay, I want what I want now. I can want uh, definition. Okay, I want this one. I press enter and now I go to definition. So I can jump back on this one, lead the Z. So I can here yeah, look D navigator. D, so I can jump and I can go back on the where I left off. And pressing mouse here, I want little G R to find reference. And this also had a nice UI. So from here, you can see they had this as cross schema. They have reference three of seven, and there's seven place. And I can navigate between the five, and and can easy to see where. Look at this one. So I can, okay, this is where I want to see and enter and let's jump to the file. So press the nine. A good thing about FCM Blue, it's not totally a fuzzy finding for a file. You can also have a good command support. For example, this one, this is the command they had for SB and diagnostics. You can use SB in this call reference to go to reference. Or go to definition, even something fancy like LB Finder or LB incoming calls, oncoming call. And if you don't want go over this thing, you can stop here and look on my config. However, if you stay tuned, let me show you what I had so far. So this is the FCA Blue. I can open this file. And there are a few things on this one because I use FCA for the file file is instead of telescope so i just disable telescope on the setting i change the dashboard get the dashboard the default dashboard is it had a different setup for open the file or set the file so i i need to override that one and then this is what i had so far and look on this i had one session for i space setup and i can override the default behavior. I also had a reference the link and when it happened. If you open this file, is the this link, you're gonna see the question when it happened and the author they give the uses how you can map in this one. So I, I just follow along on this one. And the 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 key map here just what I want. So I just mapping some new phone action for FCF. And look at this, this is demo. So I can find the validate param and look on the right. You're going to see this has one uses. And if I use ZR and they can find and I can navigate between the file. Uh, a lot of good thing about this one. I had a spy SK to set the key map and I suffer LSP. So this we say, okay, I can search for the info here. So whenever I have the command FCA Blue, they have already a few things, such simple, such incoming call, such outcoming call. Or I can go to the implementation, tiny definition. Yep, that's so this pressing mouse I want to share and if you want to you can customize at any key mapping easily. One more important thing about this video. Because this is a duty my guide to navy every setup. You can always find this setup on my navy. So this in the my conference right now. 
and if you open this one and find the configs under the HR, you're gonna find LSB, LSB Saga, or you're gonna see the Ascent Preview, or you're gonna find Navigator. So those are under the HR. So you can on up if you want, and with the final the FCS law. So all the settings I put on my GitHub repository, and you can you can try right away. If you have any question, let me know in the comment. All right, bye bye. Thank you everyone. Have a nice weekend. If you have any question or comment on the, like this kind of content, let me know in, in at the below. Bye bye. See you next time.